It's 9.35 a.m. Uh, and it's time for a 5.45 Live special update on BCTV's Roland Boyden talking a little bit more about Hurricane Sandy. Uh, we've now survived the morning. We're going to get you all the updates on what has proved a uh, tremendously terrible storm for folks in New York City. In fact, most uh, experts have now agreed it's the uh, most horrific storm New York City has ever seen. Uh, there uh, are still some smatterings of rain. So you can see behind us, though, uh, for Brattleboro, the worst, which was not that bad, uh, is over. Um, for more on that, to confirm that, at any rate, we're going to talk to uh, the town's Patrick Westmoreland and see if we can get him uh, on the on the horn here from downstairs and uh, tell us a little bit more. Uh, Patrick, let's see if we can uh, get you in here. Nope, that's not what uh, we need. Patrick. Well, there good morning, we go. Roland. And yes, it's been a long night, uh, particularly for some of Brattleboro's emergency services personnel, particularly the fire, police, and public works. Uh, over the course of the evening, uh, the town responded to roughly a dozen uh, calls for downed trees or downed power lines. Uh, this led to road closures in Bonnyvale Road, on Frost Place, uh, uh, one incident out on Route 9 near the Molly Stark Motel. Uh, and on Orchard Street. Uh, but uh, with the sun rising this morning, I'm pleased to say that all roads are now open. Um, at the height of the storm, from what I understand from Green Mountain Power, there were as many as 551 uh, households without power service. Uh, this morning they're reporting fewer than 100 still in that condition, and they're making uh, efforts to, to um, get those back and re-energize now. Um, uh, like I said, all roads are open. Um, we're asking if anybody sees leaves on a storm drain, if they wouldn't mind doing us a favor and, and kind of pulling those out to help with uh, drainage. Uh, would be greatly appreciated. Um, it's, it's very nice to be able to say there was no flooding. Uh, there were no injuries Absolutely. reported. Um, Terrific. So thankfully, uh, unlike uh, Irene, it'll be nice that a year from now we won't probably still be talking about hurricanes. We'll uh, just leave it at what, what other concerns uh, should we be aware of? Well, the high wind warning has been canceled, although there is still a wind advisory, which means that gusts could, uh, occasional gusts could be strong. And so uh, particularly folks in a high profi profile vehicle uh, should take extra caution. All right, Patrick, thank you so much. Uh, we'll make sure that uh, we check in with more updates as best we can. Just a few more notes. Uh, now there are still a couple websites that uh, you can check out. Of course, maybe uh, worth noting that YouTube is one of them. Uh, there'll be uh, quite a lot of footage that we can glean under the Creative Commons license from across this area and across the nation as well. Brattleboro.org uh, has uh, continual press release updates, WTSA.net. Um, has all the closures and cancellations list on it, and Vermont 511, that uh, group, uh, vermont.gov slash 511 is where you can get all the latest on road closings, though as of right now, Wyndham County has no roads closed. But exercise common sense if you're out there on the road, uh, out there to travel, and in fact, we're seeing just a little bit of sun behind us as uh, the morning really gets underway. I'm Roland Boyden. Remember, we'll be back tonight, not that far off. Uh, 5.45 p.m. Uh, we'll catch you up on all the video from this storm. Uh, we'll also uh, have a little retrospective, a sad farewell to Larry Block, who passed away this week. Um, and uh, we'll check in with the Newfane Bridge controversy. Uh, all that and more. We'll see you at 5.45 p.m. <laughs>